Soccer is a universal language. Once you bring people together, they speak one language. Street football. You know, it's not just football, it's street football. Because street football has the ability to reach down right into communities. If you know how to kick a ball, you qualify to play in the street. I cry freedom. I cry freedom. Uh, when I left my country, Congo, the DRC, there were war in the country and there were no safety and security. Reason why I left my country and I came in South Africa because I thought in, uh, in South Africa there is peace and security. As you have seen in the national TV during the xenophobic attack, it was committed by schoolboys. In May 2008, xenophobic violence erupted in Gauteng and quickly spread to the Western Cape. Foreign nationals were forced out of their homes. Dozens of people were killed. Some were burnt alive. Because countries have borders, xenophobia is almost an integral part of any state or government. In South Africa, our Home Affairs Department and our state encourages xenophobia. And that is reinforced by poverty and competition over scarce resources. It is made much worse by the political choices on our continent, where you have the collapse of the state in Somalia, you have terror in Zimbabwe, and you have the DRC civil war. So the lack of good governance across the continent, the competition for scarce resources, and above all, the inimical xenophobia of the state itself are some of the causes of the hatred and the violence that we've seen. I have never, never, never in my life felt such trauma and tragedy as the xenophobic violence because it was a public violence and it was targeted against groups and it could happen to any of us. Here to celebrate the big achievement of reintegration of displaced persons who have been victims of xenophobic violence in May. All the communities that have been affected by xenophobia, we want to use street football as a means of bringing the people of those communities together. It's a very powerful tool to bring people together. We went to recruiting clubs to play, to end xenophobia and celebrate reintegration. We went to to guys, we talk to them. I was surprised when I called them. I think they had about eight foreign nationals. If people want something, they go for it. If we don't make activities that keep us talk to each other, we'll always fight amongst each other because we don't know each other. We don't talk, we don't communicate. So once we start to communicate, start to be friends, we start to know each other, we start to respect each other, I start to see you as a person. I start to see similarities between you and me. We start to make some jokes and we laugh. So this was the first initiative, which shows that people really can talk, but then because of we don't talk with them, they always in their containers, either selling in a spaza shop, fixing shoes. We just go to them if I want to buy bread. But then if I start to play with him, I start to see him not as a foreign national who owns a shop in my country. I start to see him as a friend who has a shop within my community. Thank you, Mr. DJ. Thank you, Mr. DJ. Guys, let's wait and watch. Watch. A final future stars versus shiny star. You, you. Maybe the mothers of tomorrow. Maybe the fathers of tomorrow. They need good discipline. 
They need information so that when they become leaders, when they become parents, so that they can pass that message to their kids. Because this is history itself. When something else comes, when they are parents, they will probably say, when I was young, this happened, and we handled it, and I was part of making reintegration. I was part of ending xenophobia. Even at first, I was part of starting it. But then, I was part of ending it. I think at the end of the day, soccer won, reintegration won. The xenophobia ended yesterday. It was when the guys scored, they were hugging each other, they celebrated. There was no foreign national within that team. Everyone played with his brother. Reintegration won, xenophobia was ended. All right, all right, all right. The winners. Yeah, my brother and others brother and two brother, freedom is yours. You see, since uh, these attacks happened, some of us were uh, inside the world. We've never been outside. So today we get to feel the experience outside. Um, I'm feeling a bit comfortable now because I've enjoyed my day. I was checking when we dropped from the taxis there. I thought maybe they are going to start where they left off on the 23rd. But it didn't happen. It didn't happen. My name is Obeti Madombwe. I come from Zimbabwe, Nusuraya, Zimbabwe. We need to thank the organizers, the people who organized this thing. This really shows us that we've got one heart. We've got the same heart and we've got the same blood and the same skin. This thing that we're doing to myself is a family thing. Otherwise, we need to thank everybody who was participating. But we need you, the organizers, to organize again so that we meet constantly. We meet every, each and every time so that we get used to each other. This is a good thing. We appreciate you. We thank you. The foreign guys, the guys who are here uh, from Mozambique, Zimbabwe, Nigeria, Somalia, I say thanks, guys, for, for coming to, to this uh, 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 thing that we're doing. And you local guys, we also thank you. We are one. Away! 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 Away!